think he's a good guy from his time with the New York Yankees. He did a really good job, moved over to left field, which probably helped his market a little bit, being able to play all three outfield positions. But $50 million for this guy, he's going to see a lot of pitches. He's going to drive some runs in, a good place to hit. But he's got to be smiling before the Christmas holiday. John, I'll tell you what, when that deal came down, I was talking to agents. People were shocked. Yeah, his agent got that. Now, this is a great guy. He was great in the Yankee clubhouse. Yeah. He's got star quality about him. But guys like Brantley are probably sitting back and going, if he got 17, what am I going to get? Because he's a free agent as well. And one other thing that this brings up, how good does the Yankee deal for Brett Gardner sound right now? Because at the time, well, while well, they kind of overpaid him at 8 or $9 million, but he's not that far from Andrew McCutcheon, who's going to get close to $17 million for three years. Remember how dormant it was last offseason and guys couldn't find jobs? They're finding jobs now, and I'm in agreement with everything that you guys said. I think McCutcheon is a great addition for the Phillies. He has discipline at the plate. He'll hit some home runs. As Meredith said, he'll add to that clubhouse, but Bob and I had discussion towards the end of the season, and I forget if we said this on the air or if it was just in your office. Air, yeah. I think we said it on the air. When you're grading Gardner versus McCutcheon, I started to say, if you could get McCutcheon for two years, $25 million, don't pick up that Gardner option and bring McCutcheon in. Well, I was only off by $25 million. <laughs> <laughs> And also, by the way, Michael, didn't you get the immediate impression in the wake of this news that the Phillies were out there saying, the door's not closed on Machado or Harper. This is a piece that we wanted, but we're still open for business. Well, they, they have a lot of things that they have to do. So what this allows them to do, they've got some young outfielders that they could trade if, if they do get Harper. So I don't think this precludes them from getting Harper. Adds a lot of money. Their owner did say to USA Today a couple of... Uh, weeks ago that he was going to spend stupid money. Well, mission accomplished. That's a lot of money. <laughs>